Hello everyone, today we're going to discuss a new lesson. But before we start, allow me to introduce myself first to each and every one of you. I am your lecturer for today, Danilo M. Guzman Jr., a registered civil engineer, a licensed professional teacher, and a graduate of master's majoring in mathematics. Before we start the lesson proper, I am inviting you to please subscribe to our channel, Matinik at Ang Musikero. Our lesson for today is all about a pattern entitled as a Nobel Filipino pattern on how to multiply three two-digit numbers simultaneously. Would that be possible? Now let's take a try and have some proof. For example, we have the following factors such as 45, 32, and 14. And we need to determine their product. What is then their product? What is then the product of 45 times 32 times 14? Could it be possible by multiplying these numbers simultaneously? Actually, we have four steps to follow in order to determine their product. So let us start now with the step number one. What is now the product of 45, 32, and 14? Or what is 45 times 32 times 14? For step number one, this first circle or grid actually represent the number 4 of 45, representing 4 of 45. This next circle is actually representing the number 3, which is actually the tenth digit of 32. And then by having another circle, which is the third circle in this column, it actually represents the number 1, the tenth digit of the number 14. And then by multiplying all the numbers represented by these three circles, we have this, 4 times 3 times 1. 4 times 3 times 1 is actually equal to 12, but we will write it as 0, 1, 2 because the required number of digit is always 3. So we have to write it as 0, 1, 2. And then this new circle actually represents the number 5, the 1's digit of the number 45. Another circle representing 2 of the number 32. And then this new circle representing the number 4 of number 14, the last digit of 14, which is actually 4. And then by multiplying all the numbers represented by these circles, we have 5, 2, and 4. Multiplying them, we have 5 times 2 times 4 is actually equals to 40. 5 times 2 times 4 is equal to 40, but we have to write it as 0, 4, 0 because there are always 3-digit numbers required. Initially, as the first part now of the solution proper, we have 0, 1, 2, 0, 4, 0 as the first row of the solution. Step number 1. We can now proceed to step number 2 of our pattern on how to solve 45 times 32 times 14. For step number two, we have to start with this circle. And this circle actually represents 
the number 4 of the number 45, the tenth digit, which is 4. Followed by the next circle. This circle actually represents the number 3 of the number 32, the tenth digit of number 32, 3. And then we're going to have another circle. It is actually this circle. It actually represents the number 4, the ones digit of the number 14. And then by multiplying them, all these circles connected by lines, we have to multiply them. 4 times 3 times 4, we have actually a product of 48. But instead of writing it only as 48, we must write it as 0, 4, 8. And then we have to write the number 0, 48 at the second row of the solution by skipping a column. And it should be written like this. This circle represents the number 5 of 45, the ones digit of 45, which is 5. And then this circle represent actually the number two, the ones digit of 32, the number two. Followed by this circle, which represent the number one, the tenth digit of number 14, that is the number one. And then, by multiplying these three numbers represented by these three circles, we have 5 times 2 times 1 with a product of 10. But we have to write it as 0, 1, 0. Again, we have 5 times 2 times 1 is equal to 10. But we have to write it as 0, 1, 0. And we must write it by skipping two columns and write it at the third row of the solution. So we have to write it this way. And since step number two is already done, we can now proceed to step number three of our pattern. start with, let us have the product of 1 times 3 times 5. 1 times 3 times 5 is 15, but I have to write it this way, 0, 1, 5. And then I'm going to write 0, 1, 5 by the fourth row of the solution process. To be followed by 4 times 2 times 4. 4 times 2 times 4 is 32, but I have to write it as 0, 3, 2 to make it a 3 digit number. And then I'm going to write 0, 3, 2 at the pip row of the solution process in this position. Now, we can already proceed to the step number 4. To start with this step, let us now multiply 4 times 2 times 1. 4 times 2 times 1 is 8, but I have to write it as 0, 0, 8. And then afterward, I'm going to write 0, 0, 008 at the 6th row of the solution process. 
And then for the next step, what is 5 times 3 times 4? 5 times 3 times 4 is 60. But I have to write it as 0, 6, 0. And then at the seventh row of the solution process, I will write 0, 6, 0 this way. And then lastly, by adding all the addons in a vertical position, finally, we will have now the answer for 45 times 32 times 14. For our final answer, we have 0, 2, 0, 1, 6, 0. Or we can read it as 20,160. Therefore, 45 times 32 times 14 equals 20,160. And even if you will check for the product, if it is really correct by using a calculator, the product is just the same and it is really definitely correct. This only shows that multiplying three numbers having two digits each is not impossible. And that is the end of our discussion for today. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Matinika Tang Musikero. Thank you very much and God bless us all.